Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. How to find the shortcuts in your voiceover business. Imagine running a successful voiceover business with all of the work that you could possibly imagine. It sounds like a great idea, right? Well, it's possible. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you how to set up a great business. Encourage people to hire you. Use email marketing effectively. And write emails that actually get opened. And in today's social media craze, I am going to teach you how to create a feasible social media strategy. You know, once upon a time, all you needed to do was have a way to record your voice and get it out there and you could get jobs. But now the competition is much stiffer. Many more people are in the business and it takes more than just getting an agent and trying to get work. Now you need to be able to be independent. You need to be able to write up invoices, be able to accept accept online payments, be able to give out text notifications about your work, email marketing, social media, and much more is really important in today's market. I am here to tell you that in today's voiceover business, you need a mobile environment from the palm of your hand, and that will save you time and money so that you can do the best that you can to get to the work quicker than the competition. Not only get to it, but actually audition and get it. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalisbury.com. Now, when you decide to get into voiceover and you decide to seek work, it's not uncommon for you to think that you can read for any and every audition that comes along. You have to be more picky. You have to do things that really are good for you. You have to read copy that works for you. You have to read genres that work for you. Don't waste your time reading copy and reading genres that don't fit your voice type or your personality. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com. Marketing is really important. You need to let people know that you're out there. You have to keep in mind that no one is just going to come knocking on your door. You have to do something to make people notice you. You need to create content, and it needs to be consistent. What type of content am I talking about? Content that advertises you. Content that educates. Content that informs. And content that entertains people. In other words, it needs to capture their interest quickly. What you are essentially trying to do is create online income, all right? And to create online income, you have to first audition for the job, you have to get it, and then you receive your money online. You might even consider setting up an e-commerce store if you have other things to sell. What do I mean by that? Other products that have to do with voiceover. For instance, perhaps you want to specialize in reading audiobooks. Okay, open up an e-commerce store that sells your services to read audiobooks. Perhaps you want to sell your services for reading to the elderly. So, in your e-commerce store, you talk about the fact that you are willing to read for people in homes, read for people in nursing homes, read for people in their own homes for an hourly rate. 
These are the kinds of things that people can buy in your e-commerce store. Be creative. Come up with other things that you might sell your voice for. Perhaps you are willing to speak at churches, speak at conventions, speak at family gatherings. Brainstorm. Come up with ideas and promote them in your e-commerce store. Do a keyword research and try to get specific as possible about what it is that you think people want. What it is that people want from the human voice. For example, there is probably a lot of competition for selling voiceover e-learning services. But if you can narrow it down to specific e-learning subjects, you may have a better chance of getting more e-learning work. You may have a better chance of standing out in the market. You need to ask yourself a few questions. First of all, are my rates too high? Are my rates considered expensive? Am I comparable to the competition? There are costs associated with each genre. It costs a certain amount to read e-learning copy. It costs a certain amount to read audiobooks. So you need to find out what that is that people are charging and put yourself below, above, or at the same rate as your competition. If your product isn't expensive and you have come in too cheaply, there may be no profit left by the time you sell your product. In other words, by the time you do all the work it takes to give this particular person that voiceover, you have used up your time and it is not worth the money that you charged. You also need to ask yourself, am I growing in the marketplace? Have I reached my peak? Can I ask for more? Or am I on a downward slope, meaning that not only am I not receiving offers for my services, I am actually getting less popular in the industry, and perhaps I may have to get out. But if you are on an upswing, and if you see profit and you see growth, you know that you have the potential to do even better. Just remember this at all times. You can't get pay if you don't play. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get anywhere. You can't succeed unless you have the need to be the best that you can be. Are you looking for expert advice on advancing your voiceover career? Are you just getting started in the business? Join the Consultants Club and receive monthly coaching on how to read scripts, interpret copy, and get work in the fastest growing business in the world. When you join the Consultants Club, go to RodneySalsbury.com and sign up today. The bottom line is this. You need to slow down and consider everything that you're doing. Don't go too fast. Think about it. Think about a positive attitude. Think about the skills that you have to offer. And we here at Success Talks are proud to bring you great information to help you be better today, tomorrow, and forevermore. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalsbury.com. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury.